Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters in Christ? You know, I was just in prayer and I was just giving thanks unto the Lord. And, you know, with this whole shutdown with the coronavirus and everything like that, and everybody has to be indoors and they're forced to be indoors, I kind of all joy because I think about the kids at school that were being bullied. Like, this is a break for them. Like, they don't have to worry about being bullied or peer pressure or just the different things that comes with these kids that have to go to school. We don't know what they're facing at school. So I think about them and how they have a break. And I think about all the churches that are shut down. It's a blessing in disguise because no more people, the leaders who are... um. They are wolves in sheep clothing. They can no longer deceive or mislead or um, lead people astray. And I think about all the marriages that are broken and how they go out there and cheat. Even that was shut down. Like People are not too quick to hop in the sheets with any and everybody because you have this coronavirus that are separating us. And I think about family gatherings where it's dysfunctional, where it's taking a break from that, just taking a break from a lot of things. And I think God was in this through and through because it's giving us a chance and an opportunity to repent for some things, to think about some things, um, to think about our lives. This was a great opportunity for the people who weren't right and who were out there doing wrong to really look and examine the choices that they're making, the things that they're doing that is not right. This is a perfect opportunity and chance to get right. And I think this is a great opportunity for God to kind of try and test the hearts to see if man will repent, if man will reflect on the choices that they've made? Will they acknowledge the wrongs that they have done, the sins that they committed? Will they? This is that opportunity in space. I feel like this is kind of like um, an olive branch that he's extending to those who need it. Are we going to take this time to acknowledge some of our wrongs? In our sins, are we going to reflect or are we going to just ignore this chance and opportunity? Are we going to bypass it? Or are we going to take the opportunity? I think now is the, the time and chance to do that. Because what follows next, we can't say that God didn't give us a space to repent, a space to acknowledge, a space to confess, a space to admit, a space to pray, a space to get to know who God is for yourself, a space to get that marriage right, a space to, to mend broken relationships with your family or friends or whatever. A space to turn from those wicked ways as a pastor and a leader. You're leading people astray and you're not really sincere. This is a space to do all of that. I wonder, are people taking advantage of it? Or are they not taking heed to this opportunity? And just thinking about when can they get back out there to deceive someone or hurt someone? Or do what they want to do. Or commit these sins. I really wonder. God is good. And I feel like this is a space for us to do that. Are we doing that? A lot of us are still distracted. Still want to be out there. Still want to get back to our. Our daily activities. <laughs> and the things that we're used to doing. And we're really not reflecting on what we need to be doing spiritually. I thought that I would just share what I was thinking while I was in my quiet time. 
And I hope it blessed someone. Thank you all for listening and watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.